drawings from the client, which is the IFC, the system drawings, the ID drawings, we look at the project specification, and then we look at the load schedules. So we compare all of that to ensure that we carry out or deliver or produce another set of drawing, which is the shop drawing, should conform to the requirement of the project. Again, uh, for the different systems, you look at the ID drawings, you look at the plan, you look at the elevation, and you look at the reflected ceiling plan. And then you also look at the project specification, you look at the load schedule as well. Make sure that we don't have any discrepancy. Once that is done and it's okay, then now you can submit to the consultant for review and approval. Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoka Enterprises. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on um, quality, which is very important as far as project management is concerned. So while we are carrying out the different um, installation works on site, we make sure that everything that we are doing is of quality and conforms to the requirement of the project. So today's lesson is going to focus on shop drawings. I'm going to explain all that so we get to know the different steps to follow if we are going to review drawings prior to submitting to consultant for review and approval, this is very important. I'll share my screen. Okay, today's topic is going to be shop drawings and technical submitters, which is very important. Shop drawings and technical submitters. So we will understand the concept of shop drawings. So I explain a little bit before we move forward. A shop drawing are a set of drawings that are being produced by a contractor, which is after receiving a set of drawings from the client, which is an IFC issue for construction. So you receive this set of drawings as well as specifications. So you compare both drawings. You compare the drawing of from the from the client, which is an IFC issue for construction, as well as looking at the project specification. So you mash up all of them, then you produce now another set of drawing, which will be called a uh, shop drawing. So also we have technical submitters, which can come as a result of um, technical calculations and all that. So how do you relate all that before submitting to the consultant? So this lesson is going to drive us through, so we get to understand the different procedures and what to look at while doing all the different steps. Review of shop drawings and technical submitter or engineering calculations prior to submitting to consultant for review and approval. This is very important. So there are different things that we have to take into consideration. You don't just get drawings or probably provision drawing or probably you get the drawings from a subcontractor. You receive them as a contractor. So you receive the drawing, immediately submit to the consultant for review and approval. No. You have to receive it. The reason why you're doing all this is to make sure that we reduce the we reduce the reworks. So you review the drawings first prior to submitting to consultants so that we increase the level of quality for our project. This is very important. So the first point which we have to make sure that we take into consideration is refer to latest IFC issued for construction drawings for the different services. So you understand that if you receive drawings from the clients, which is the IFC drawings issue for construction. So these different drawings are going to be in different services. So what since we have, we have to carry out installation works. We, our scope of work will be lighting, small power. We have equipment pass. We have um, fire alarm, whatever. So all these different drawings, we will have to put, take them, go through the different drawings, look at the specification prior to um, uh, producing another set of drawing now, which will be the shop drawing. So the next point, which is um, refer to ID, uh, ID drawing, which is interior design drawing. So we go through the plan, we go through the elevation and the reflected ceiling plans. So as well as the specification. So we go through the ID drawing, which is interior design drawing. The interior design drawing now is going to be the drawings that have been received from the client as well. The first drawing, which is an IFC drawing, is um, also the drawings of the different services. Like I may mention, we might have lighting, small power. So all these different drawings, we will collect them. And then as well as take into consideration 
with uh, as well with the ID drawing, which is an interior design drawing. So we look at the plan, we look at the elevation, and then we look at the reflected ceiling plan. So the reason why we are doing all this, I'll explain in detail. I'll move to all the different steps and then I'll explain in detail the reason why we have to look at all these different drawings prior to producing um, a shop drawing. The third point, which is referred to the project specification, which is very important. The fourth point, which is referred to the load schedule for load balancing. So um, basically, the reason why we are looking at all these different drawings, we look at the, the system drawing, which is from the IFC, which is uh, uh, received from the client. We look at the ID drawing, which is an interior design drawing, why we, we start compare, looking at the plan, we look at the elevation, we look at the reflected ceiling plan or the RCP. So, and then also look at this project specification, look at the load schedule as well. The load schedule now will have to look at the load balancing as well. This is another part which I'm going to discuss on. I'm going to make a lesson on this only on load schedule. So we understand how to balance different loads as far as load scheduling is concerned and how to prepare it. So we look at all these different drawings. We now start comparing to make sure that what we are carrying out or what we are producing, which is a shop drawing, conforms to the requirement of the project. The next slide is note, if any discrepancy from client side, we have to request an information. So request for information, which is RFI from the client for further information and details. So basically, after going through all the different drawings from the client, which is the IFC, the system drawings, the ID drawings, we look at the project specification, and then we look at the load schedules. So we compare all of that to ensure that we carry out or deliver or produce another set of drawing, which is the shop drawing, should conform to the requirement of the project. I give an example. Supposing we have in an area where from the, the, the system drawing, we might be talking of a small power uh, uh, layout. You receive the small power layout in a certain location, we have say seven um, socket outlets. So if you look at the so seven socket outlet, where are they connecting to? So you look at the circuit reference, say they are connecting in uh, R2, which is uh, R2 of a particular DB, so you now go now through the loose schedule as well to confirm that the set location in the loose schedule is supplying the same location as per the system drawing. So when you confirm that, you look at the size as well of the cable, and then you confirm as per the ID drawing. So you look at the ID drawing, how many socket outlet is being connected in that particular location. So from the ID, probably it is eight. And in the system drawing, it's mentioned there seven. So we need to increase it. And by increasing, we need to confirm from the client if increasing the, the number of outlet should be as per the ID drawing. So we request for information, which is RFI. So you request for information from the client. So it moves with different things that you meet on your way while you're producing a shop drawing. So um different things that you might find on your way you make sure that you highlight them submit to the client get approval prior to proceeding with the different steps so you don't just uh, get up and just say okay since i'm producing the shop drawing i take everything to my hand no you have the client who have prepared an ifc as such they need the installation work should be as per the IFC and as per the project specification. So you produce now this set of drawing and make sure that all these different aspects have been taken into consideration. So once all that is done, now you prepare and then you review as well, make sure that it's okay. If say these drawings are leaving from the subcontractor coming to the contractor, you at the contractor side, you have to review the drawings, take into consideration all the different steps, look at the the, the the IFC drawing for the system, uh, uh, for the different systems. You look at the ID drawings, you look at the plan, you look at the elevation, and you look at the reflected ceiling plan. And then you also look at the project specification, you look at the load schedule as well. Make sure that we don't have any discrepancy. Once that is done and it's okay, then now you can submit to the consultant for review and approval, which is very important. Some cases, you submit to the consultant, you get 
some comments. So you have to go through the comments as well. Say maybe you have a subcontractor. Once they receive, you receive the drawings, you now have to send to them. Once you send to them, they will have to review the different comments and make sure that they respond to them prior to resubmitting to revision one, maybe going to revision one. So when you receive this set of drawings, so now what you do is you go through the different um, comments, you look at the different responses from the subcontractor and ensure that it matches with the way they are supposed to be responding to the different questions. So once all that is okay, you now gather everything and then you submit now to the consultant for review and approval, which is very important. So like I did mention, this video is um, just to give an highlight on how to review shop drawings prior to submitting to the consultant for review and approval. But it's not limited to this. Like I did mention, this is just to give us a guide so we get to understand exactly how to carry out the different steps and procedure. Till then, you're watching Macoga Enterprise.